Our next story is about a language, a primitive one, the first language born of the digital world. I'm talking about emojis, those little pictorial icons on our phones. They punctuate our texts, memes and posts, like smiley faces or praying hands or a high five. I'm sure you've used these. 92% millennials used emojis in daily conversations. And just in the past three years, emojis have seen a 775% rise in use. They're everywhere, in every conversation. Love is expressed with a heart icon. Mean jokes are masked by laughing emojis. And in some cases, people are taken to court over a thumbs up. That's what happened in Canada. A farmer had to pay the price of an emoji, and a heavy one at that, more than $61,000. Here's the story. The farmer spoke to a buyer about a deal for the purchase of flax. Then the buyer sent him a contract via text message. He asked the farmer for confirmation. The farmer responded with a thumbs up emoji, but he did not make the delivery. So the buyer took him to court and he was found guilty. Classic emoji miscommunication. The buyer assumed that the thumbs up meant confirmation, but the farmer was only confirming that he'd received the message. He was not giving a go-ahead for the contract. But as they say, justice is blind, even to emojis, it seems. So now the farmer has to pay a fine of over $61,000. It sounds a bit odd, and the court agrees. They've called it a quote-unquote non-traditional means to sign a document. But they also said that the thumbs-up emoji, by its very definition, is used to describe agreement. And in this case, it can be interpreted as a digital signature. The judge called this, and I'm quoting again, he called this the new reality in Canadian society. But let's face it, this reality is hardly limited to Canada. More emojis are showing up in court cases throughout the world, mostly in sexual harassment and criminal cases. In 2016, a French court convicted a man of threatening his ex-girlfriend. Do you know what he'd done? Sent her a gun emoji. He was sentenced to six months in prison and slapped a $1,200 fine. In 2017, New Zealand saw a case of stalking. A man was sen sentenced to jail for eight months. Again, because of an emoji. In 2018, 46 people were slapped with criminal cases in India for replying to a woman's official message with an emoji. The case was later quashed by the Madras High Court. In the US too, cases featuring emojis are on the rise and in England, the icon frequently, icons rather, frequently appear in criminal family and employment hearings. So the trend is quite clear across the board. It's also up for debate. Attorneys have to stand in court and argue the different interpretations of tiny guns and eggplants. Can a knife emoji mean a threat to kill someone? Does a heart emoji from a manager constitute sexual harassment? We ask because emojis express a wide range of emotions and they're quite flexible. And that's usually a good thing because they let us be colorfully creative. But that also leaves room for misinterpretation. For instance, a thumbs up emoji. It generally means agreement, but some, some young people now use it sarcastically too. Others merely use it to acknowledge the receipt of something. While in some West Asian countries, this gesture is offensive. So many meanings for one simple emoji. And remember, there are over 3,000 emojis today. So just imagine the confusion. Also different devices display the same emojis differently. I'll give you an example. On Google phones, a grinning face has smiling eyes. It's a happy emoji. But on Apple phones, it has a grimace, almost as if it's ready to fight. Now, according to a study, 25% of emoji users are unaware of this difference. In the context of law, though, this is a big problem. Simple confusion can be unforgiving, and the legal world has begun to accept it. For instance, last year, many lawyers in Britain urged the judiciary they demanded guidance on the interpretation of emojis. Now, this may seem like the equivalent of sitting with the elderly and telling them that the peach emoji does not mean what they think it does. It will be an awkward conversation for sure, but it's an important conversation to have because emojis now appear in virtually every area of the law and courts, the courts must keep up. As for the users, throwing emojis around like confetti may not be the best idea. The next time you look at one of those icons, think before you press.